So Dow Inc. is a 123-year-old company really based on diversity, diversity of thought, diversity of technology and product lines, and diversity of our people. And we start that with thinking through some of our technologies. We have plastics, we have industrial chemicals, silicones, and what we're going to spend a lot of our time talking about is polyurethanes. And if you think back to our mission to be the most inclusive, the most innovative, the most customer-centric and sustainable material science company in the world, we have to go down this voyage of digital transformation. Our approach to digitalization at Dow is really about continuously embedding enhanced digital capability throughout the company and then fostering collaboration with information technology and all of the other groups at Dow. Many steps and processes across Dow are being digitalized today to enhance our digital IQ across all of the company. In one of our businesses inside polyurethane, we make customized solutions for each customer. So what does that mean? It means that no two customers buy the same product. We have to formulate and customize exactly for that customer need. And so you think back over the 123 years of data that we've been building, the hundreds of people around the world that create this data, we need to somehow harness this data into supercomputers to use it not just to catalog and find solutions we already have, but to also look at ways that we can predict formulations in the future. One of the interesting ideas about how you can take what we've learned from the formulation process within Dow Polyurethanes and how that has been now formalized as a predictive capability using AI and machine learning is that we can start to predict new products that customers are likely to come to Dow for in the future in the sense of this is a product that has yet not been made, but it's a product that's likely to be needed in the future. The 30 plus sites that we have around the world, the different technologies and different cultures, it's really more of a mindset issue. We've got them harnessed in supercomputers, and now it's time to unleash that power to start getting more predictive capabilities. And truly the pinch point in terms of leveraging what's across the, all the sites is really just a mindset change. One of the key parts of the collaboration between our team at Microsoft and Dow is understanding the differences in regions and how products vary across geographies and across regions. Through that collaboration, through that kind of sharing of knowledge, we can encode that into the models and we can ultimately allow the models to operate across multiple regions and to create similar products that serve similar purposes that serve customers across the world and globally. So when I think about what the future holds for our relationship and where we're going to go with this, we will launch predictive intelligence to our comfort science industry in early 2021. And we'll be able to predict capabilities and formulations in that industry starting off in the early 2021. Now our plan is to roll this out across other segments, completing it by 2022, where we will have predictive intelligence capabilities across our entire portfolio.